Have you ever considered that some people might just be fat because they're fat? Genetics, A, play a huge role. If you are thin and you post those body positivity photos where you're hunched over and forcing yourself to have roles, I want you to feel embarrassed. I also prioritize my health, believe it or not. Fat people can care about their health. Also, I'm not acting oppressed. I am oppressed. Fat people are oppressed. Hey, what's going on guys? So we're truly about to witness the downfall of humanity in this video. I mean, I don't know how this person survived this long with uh, their brain somehow fully formed inside of their asshole, but we witnessed it come true. These claims are so bad that it's gonna make you question reality. I mean, they actually have the gall to say that it takes money to lose weight or that genetics is why I'm fat, I'm naturally fat, I'm naturally thin, all that. I mean, we both know that's nonsense. Anyways, here's a few comments from the last video that put a smile on my face. I got time today. Have you ever considered that some people might just be fat because they're fat? Genetics, A, play a huge role. I bet God is beating himself up that he didn't press the delete button on you. I don't know what's worse. The, the claims they make, the piercings, the hair, or the little warm-up that happened before the TikTok even took place. That was the most physical thing uh, she's done in the last 10 years. But let's really unpack what she just said. Genetics plays a huge role in being fat. The only people that have an excuse for being fat is the people that have ED or the people that are incapable of moving. Everybody else, we're on the same plane. And about 9% of the population in America has ED. So that other 81 has no excuse. People can naturally be thin, therefore, people can naturally be fat, too. There is no such thing as naturally fat or naturally thin. Some people have a faster metabolism, but that doesn't mean they're naturally thin. That is just ridiculous. That's absurd. The easiest way to lose weight is to not eat as much. I don't know if that's, I don't know if that's breaking news or something, but that advice alone just shits all over your naturally fat claim. About 80% of you aren't subscribed, man. Hit the sub button, help me get to 4,000. And while you're down there, you might as well hit that like button. I mean, it's right there. And if you want to talk to me, go follow me on Instagram and shoot me a DM. I respond to every message on there. Also. This doesn't apply to me, but have you heard of poverty and needing to eat cheap foods to stay alive that sometimes make you gain weight because that's all you can afford? All right. All right. So somehow the argument got even dumber and stupider. So she claims that people in poverty eat cheap foods, which results of them being fat. That is absolute and utter bullshit. I I've lost about 30 pounds eating nothing but fast food. It has literally nothing to do with what you're eating, but the amount you're eating. If you are in poverty, you should not be fat. That's like mixing oil and water. They're two separate things. You have to be somewhat stable uh, financially to become fat, unless of course that ED stuff, but we're not gonna bring that up. That's not the majority, that's the minority. That might be the dumbest thing I've ever heard. It doesn't cost more to eat less food. It costs more to build muscle. If you're trying to be like me, you feel me? I understand that. You gotta put in some money, you gotta put in some work, but if you're trying to lose weight and you're just trying to get thin, money has nothing to do with it. So how about I take that argument and run donuts around it because it just does not make sense. Have you ever considered medications? I take five medications, all of which have made me gain weight. Now, I'm not going to talk about the medications because quite honestly, I don't know much about it, but but I did do a little Google search and there are some medicines that cost weight gain, including steroids, obviously. I mean, that, that's just a no brainer, but uh, there are some medications that cost weight gain, but most of them are for depression. And let's be honest, in this generation we live in, 99% of the people have already classified themselves as depressed. Uh, they don't even know what depression feels like, yet they're depressed. I also prioritize my health, believe it or not. Fat people can care about their health. Also, I'm not acting oppressed. I am oppressed. Fat people are oppressed. She's not acting oppressed. She is oppressed. What a statement, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, she really dropped the mic right on my asshole. Are we being serious right now? In what way are fat people oppressed? You have the privilege to stuff your face while people are starving in countries and in America. As far as I'm concerned, that's a bigger privilege than most people have in the world. I think these people forget that they live in America and they're allowed to have these problems. Put any of these people in a third world country and let's really find out how fast their opinions change. These people don't know a 
one percent of oppression if you really seen what goes on in these other countries overseas and how people are treated how children are treated you will realize very fast that that 99.999 percent of america is not oppressed that is absolute nonsense that's called being the victim to get some attention to feel good about yourselves i really hope her parents didn't turn into a drug addict because that's where i would be right now if that was my child it's not because you can't control your own impulses regardless of whether it's from someone's lack of impulse control they can still be oppressed but baby you are downright stupid if you don't think that some people can just be naturally fat there's such thing as a set point weight and when people grow up and they eat normally and move normally for them they find a range that's healthy for their body so next time you want to come on my page and try and spew misinformation do a little bit of research first thank you damn she really got us there i'm in pure awe on how fat phobic i've been uh quite honestly on a serious note that video did nothing but prove my point on every single point that she made there was not a single argument that was made in that video that i could look at be like be like holy shit she has a point not a single one so you're telling me i sat through a two minute diary of fest to learn absolutely nothing learn nothing but false arguments that storytelling in that video might be worse than the p hub if you know what i mean if you are thin and you post those body positivity photos where you're hunched over and forcing yourself to have roles, I want you to feel embarrassed. Because that's embarrassing. Uh, you heard it here. If you before a before and after picture of you losing weight, you should be embarrassed. You know what? I'm really reading a lot of self-projection here. Now, if I looked like her and I looked at a before and after picture, I would be quite embarrassed too. It's not for the fact that she's fat. The fact I would be embarrassed about would be that one person was able to work harder than me, achieve their goals, and on top of that, can flex about it on social media for that sweet green. And all the likes and comments for the clout. Because at that point, they have earned it. But what she's doing is she's trying to flip the script, which it, it just doesn't work. You don't shame people. You don't shame people for achieving their goals. That is not right. And the sad truth is that this is where this whole fat acceptance movement is going. If somebody sets out and achieves their goals, you should be congratulating them. Like, I don't know who you think you are sitting on the internet talking about not posting before and afters, but it is a person's right this is a free country you are allowed to do whatever you want and you don't have the right to tell anybody that they shouldn't be posting photos of themselves before and after a journey because it offends you or it's embarrassing it is not embarrassing nobody's ever looked at a before and after picture and said wow that's embarrassing that is absolutely ludicrous what's embarrassing is that you actually got hurt by this and you had to make a TikTok about it but just like you're allowed to go on the internet and you have your freedom you can do whatever you want you can say whatever you want Another person also has that right. Don't forget that. It goes both ways. And if you want them to stop and they don't want to stop, that's their right. And if you want to keep making these videos, I'm going to clown you for it for sure. But you can keep making these videos. I'm never going to tell you to stop. I mean, it's free content for me anyways. Like I said, everybody has that freedom of doing whatever they want on social media. If you want to watch why the word obese is offensive, I'll put the video up right here. And if you want to watch why skinny people are evil and they've been oppressing fat people for a long time, I'm being rhetorical here. This is a quote from the video. I'll put the video up right here.